Good day, mates. Welcome to part two of the December issue of the Bluey magazine. Remember to please like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to check out part one. This issue is all about Christmas. Come on, let's check it out. Oh, sweet. Sun globe. Nothing says Christmas like a surf and Santa on a sandy beach in a snow globe. Hey, grubs, why not draw and make your own? You could draw something super summery or full on festive. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. How about a snow bingo or a Santa Bluey? Oh, those are such good ideas. I think I'll draw a Santa Bluey. And should it be summery or festive? I think I'm gonna do festive. Let's blow up this snow globe and make it Christmassy. What do I need to make it festive? I think I need a Christmas tree. Yeah, you gotta decorate the tree. Let's put some baubles. And we need some presents. How about some giant candy canes? And don't forget the snow. Alright, let's colour it in. Oh, that's super sick, mate. That's what I call a snow globe. Or should I say a sun globe? Because it's always sunny here in Oz. Or oh, check it out. Now you can make your own snow globe for real life. But make sure you finish the activity on page 22 first. Okay, so what we'll need? A clean empty jar, sticky tape, scissors, glitter, foil or wrappers. The first step, snip out the picky below and tape it to the back of the jar. Make sure Santa's facing in. Make sure the opening of the jar is at the bottom of the picture. Step 2. Pour water into the jar until it's three quarters full. Step 3. Add a sprinkle of glitter or bits of foil or sparkly wrappers and screw the lid on tight. Then shake, shakety shake. Next page. Oh, Chrissy swim! Bluey is introducing Bartleby to the family, but between you and me, they're a bit crazy! Finish off their Christmas by the pool. This is a sticker page. Check it out. This is Bartleby, Bluey's new toy. Alright, let's decorate the scene. First, we got Bandit. Oh, you're doing a classic catch, mate. Next, we got Uncle Stripe lying down on a giant pizza. Okay, who's next? Oh, it's Muffin. You got your own floating island there, mate. Ooh, we got Chili teaching Bingo how to swim. Next, we got Socks. Oh, stay in the shallow end, young fella. Hey, where's your mum? Oh, there you are. There's Aunt Trixie, standing by the pool. Oh, and don't forget Bluey. Bluey's sitting at the end of the pool, next to Bartleby. Is that a giant donut? Oh, no, it's just an inflatable one. That looks delicious. We've got a pool noodle. Aunt Trixie can hang on to that. Hey, whose thongs are these? Does anyone own these thongs? And who needs floaties? How about you, Bandit? Especially if you're going to dive into the pool like that. Safety first, mate. Whose floaties are these? Maybe it's Bluey's. Oh, and it ain't a Chrissy swim without some ice cream. Maybe Bartleby can hang on to that. How about a mango one? Oh, Chili can't eat and swim. How about you, Bandit? Forget the ball, just hang on to the ice cream. A muffin, you look like you're relaxed there, mate. What about you, Uncle Stripe? Yeah, have a cold one. Oh, who else doesn't have an ice cream? Oh, Aunt Trixie, I know you like chips. These are your ice creams. Draw yourself doing a classic catch like Dad. Oh, I know it's summertime, it's the cricket season. Catches win matches, mate. Catches win matches. If you're going to win the Ashes, you got to make sure you know how to catch the ball. Next page. Oh, Santa's watching. It's almost Christmas. You better be good, Bumble Nuts. Eek. Show Santa how nice you are by helping everyone with their Christmas prep. Tick the right thing to do. Uncle Stripe is blowing up the inflatable pool island. What would you do? Would you pop it? Or stand back and give him room. Hmm, what would I do? It's almost Christmas and Santa's watching. I'd probably stand back and give him some room. Next, Nana is making gravy. What would you do? Help Nana stir it? Or swap the gravy for mud? Hmm, I know stirring it would be the right thing to do, but... Swapping it for mud would be so funny. Yeah, I'd swap it for mud. I'm sure it'd give Nana a laugh. Aunt Trixie is cooking up a Christmas feast. What would you do? Would you 
hold your nose and say ew or tell Aunt Trixie it smells delish well it's Christmas I don't want to hurt her feelings so I'll just tell her it smells delish even though it's not eh last Uncle Stripey is setting up the table what would you do help him put out the plates or hide everything aha oh yeah you know it I'm hiding those plates it's gonna go bananas Bingo, Muffin and Socks have been so good this year, so Santa will bring them their prezzies. Draw what you think they will get. Maybe it's a cool inflatable for the pool. It's something round. What do you think it is? Yep, it's a donut with pink sprinkles. How about you, Muffin? What did you get? Oh, it's a unicorn toy. Oh, mate, that unicorn, that looks a bit bodgy, mate. What about you, Bingo? Oh wait, what did you say Chili? It's nice to be nice, not just because Santa's watching. Oh yeah, did you hear that little ones? Oi Bingo, what'd you get? Oh, you got a doctor's bag. And, oh you also got a stethoscope. Next page, oh Prezi puzzles. Veranda Santa must have had a giggle choosing these presents for everyone. Help Santa Bluey deliver a gift to Socks. Follow the path and stop at each puzzle. Alright, let's go down the path. Oh, biscuits! Who ended up with the toilet roll? Join them up with a line. Start at the biggest roll, then draw a line to the next biggest, and keep going till you get to the smallest. Oh yeah, that sounds easy enough. What do you reckon? Looks like they're going straight to the dunny. Okay, let's continue. Oh, we're at another puzzle. Look closely at the purple undies and circle the odd pair out. The odd one would be... Oh, check out these blue ones. It has a blue garter. That's the odd one out. Our journey continues. Next puzzle. Draw lines to match the unwrapped bits and bobs to the wrapped ones. Oh, too easy, mate. Look at this semicircle looking present. That looks like the snow globe. And what about the cylinder? That's got to be the beans. And this odd one, that's the paint roller. Okay, let's continue our quest. Oh no, we're at another puzzle. How many times can you find the word pants in this grid? Okay, we found two, three. Where's the fourth? Oh, we got four. That's four. That's fantastic. Yes, we made it. Here's your Prezi socks. Next page. Moonlight unicorns. Ah, biscuits. There are thousands of them. And they're all different. Can you help Dad look for the right ones for Muffin's present? This is a sticker page. Can you spot these moonlight unicorns? Pop a sticky on the toy wall when you find each one. Okay, so first one we're looking for a sausage horn. It's a unicorn with a sausage for a horn. Oh, that's strange. Um, oh, there it is. I found it. Let's whack a sticker on you, mate. Next unicorn is an invisible one. Oh, mate, that's a ripoff. Oh, there you are. Whack on that sticker. Next, we're looking for a gigantico. How'd you fit in that box there, mate? Hmm, where are ya? Ooh, oh, there you are! Spotted! Oh yeah, gotcha! Next is an upside down sparkle. Hmm, where could you be? Maybe? Oh, there you are! Got it! And last is a moonlight mushroom. Oh, where are ya? What a rip off of a toy. Where are ya, mate? Oh, there you are! Found ya! Next page. Oh, fancy crown! Ooh! Bingo and Bluey want their own special Christmas paper crowns. Doodle to decorate them with the things they like. How about bugs for Bingo and ice cream for Bluey? Okay Bingo, let's decorate your hat with a ladybug. What about a leaf bug? Ooh, they're nice. And a stick insect. What about a praying mantis? Put another ladybug and another leaf insect. Oh yeah, what do you reckon? Alright Bluey, your turn. Let's give you a cone with two scoops. One strawberry and one chocolate. A mint cone here and a mango one. And what about a rainbow cone? Well, that's a super fancy crown you got there. That'll keep you cool for Christmas. Why not decorate the stars on this page with your favorite things too? What do you reckon my favorite things are? Yep, that's right, it's candy. I got some lollipops and some candy. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I want some candy! Next page. Oh, really awesome wreath! Forget your traditional wreath. This one's got bluey all over it. 
Just grab some cardboard, scissors, glue, pens and a grown up to help. First, let's colour in the wreath. I reckon it's easier if you colour it before you cut it out. Next, cut out the wreath template and stick it on some cardboard. Make sure you glue it on properly mates. Once the template is dry, cut it out from the cardboard. Step 2. Psst, cut out the middle bit too. Step 3. Snip out the Christmassy bits and bobs and stick it to your wreath. Stick on the decorations however you want. I'm putting blue and bingo front and centre. Oh sweet, you know it's an Aussie wreath when you have a koala. Don't forget the Christmas star, that's choice mate. This is a cross between a traditional wreath and an Aussie wreath. Check it out, you got a galah on top of a koala. Oh mate, we'll just add in a bit more bits and bobs. Oh look at that, we got some decorations on the palm tree. What do you reckon? Oh mate, this is definitely hands down the sickest wreath I've ever made. What do you guys think? I'll either hang this on the tree or on front of my bedroom door. Thank you for watching part 2 of the December issue of this Bluey magazine. Don't forget to check out part 1. Remember to please like, share and subscribe. Have a Merry Christmas and we'll see you next time. For mum, please subscribe.